Okay, uh, what we have here today is we have an Aquacy um, new model coming out in October. Um, it's on pre-sale right now, aquacywatch.com. It's called the Cave Diver. It's a 200 meter uh, dive watch with a Seiko NH38 open heart movement in it. You can see the skeleton. This is the Blue Mother Pearl dial. This piece we actually, um, we had a few pieces made just as test pieces and this piece actually has a little bit of a flaw in the 12 logo so we decided to sacrifice it for this water test. Um, it's made to the same specs and everything as the ones that will be sold as far as case and everything. So we have this uh, product here, Letitz, out of Letitz, Pennsylvania, Precision Products, Diver 125. This will test up to 1250 meters. Of course, this is only a 200 meter watch, so we're going to test it up to 200 meters and see how it does. So the first thing we do is just put it inside of here, inside this case here. Probably should make sure the crown screw down fully. I did earlier, but make sure it's down really good. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And... And then what you do is you, the instructions say you turn this all the way out once the watch is in. These testers are hard to find, they're very niche product. Um, this one here costs about $3,000 online, so they're not cheap. Um, then you fill it with distilled water till it actually overflows. I have a little notch in the back there. And it's got a few air bubbles inside of here, so we're going to get those out. You don't want those. Um, any more than you can help it. Um, so you can see the rubber seal there. Um, put that into place. And then what we do is we set this down on top of it. It's about a one inch thick piece of plexi. And the goal is you don't really want to see any air bubbles, which we don't. You, sometimes you'll see big air bubbles under glass. You have to redo it. So once we do that, then we put this on top of it. And you have to put these on. Just, you know, they just hit, and then you have to tighten them down two at a time across from each other in sync. If you don't, you might not get a good seal. And once we start the test, if water starts coming out of the side, this crack here, then we know we have to start over because the gasket didn't seal properly. You want to tighten these down. Make sure they're really good and tight. Okay. Now, you see the gauge here. Let me get you a good close-up shot. You can see uh, 200 meters, that 20 is 20 bar. It's not very much. You'll see it. We played with it before and did a couple other videos, so you'll see it move right away. Let me show you first. The watch is still running in here, as you can see. Second hand moving. We're going to take it up to 20. First, we're going to take it up to about 150. Now, this, this watch has a mineral crystal. It's got a sapphire coating on it. And um, see how it holds up. So it's at 150 right now still running doesn't look like it's filled up with water that's good we're gonna take it right to its advertised limit which is 200 okay it's at 200 right now and it's still running we're actually gonna let this sit here for a couple minutes we're gonna fast forward you through this but we're gonna put a time clock right here so we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes 
And just to make sure that it gets a good test, we're going to let it go for about two minutes. Okay, so it's been about a couple minutes. We're going to go ahead and take it down. As you can see, it's still running. So we're going to take it down. We're going to take it out and see what we got. Now we're also going to do a condensation test on it. We're going to check for visible, um, visible water right now. But we're also going to heat the watch up. We're going to drop some water onto it and do a uh, condensation test. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to wipe it off and look for visible water inclusion, which from what I'm seeing, I don't see any. That doesn't mean there isn't any, but I mean, the watch is designed actually to, it should withstand more than 200, but you know, we advertise it as 200, should be a safe depth. Most people will never go that deep, but if it'll go 200 you know it's good for any kind of water sports you know scuba diving things like that as long as you keep the crown screwed down you don't have any problem with it these watches are available on aquacywatch.com um, with tits products you can google them and find them they're out of pennsylvania usa made products now we're actually using a coffee warmer a cup warmer to heat up this watch Latitz has a product they're coming out with that's um in proto it's in prototype right now but they're gonna um one that heats it up properly now omega specs omega service center says to heat the heat a watch up to 117 degrees their watches so we're going to assume they know what they're talking about and we're going to do 117. okay now the warmer here says 124. um we found out that about 123 124 you got to do that to get it up to spec now if there's a lot of water in the in the watch it will when you heat this up, it will actually condensate on the inside of the glass with, with no problem. You don't even have to do the water the water drop on it. So we're gonna let this, so we're gonna fast forward through this, but we're gonna set the clock right here beside it. And we're gonna do about 10, it's gonna take about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes for this to warm up to 117 degrees. And we have a infrared thermometer, laser thermometer to check the case temperature before we drop the water drop on it. So we'll fast forward and we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're going to check the temperature on it, see where we're at. See, we're at actually about 122. We're actually a little hot, but it'll still work. Better too hot than too cold. We're going to drop a drop of water on it, see what happens. The idea is that that cools the crystal and immediately brings any moisture up to the surface. 
there's enough moisture in it you don't even need to drop the crystal the heat will essentially steam it up to the top and it'd be covered in water I've seen it before um, so let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that wipe that off and it passed there's no visible water in it can't um, no condensation on the crystal looks good so again aquasywatch.com we've got the 1769 model we've got this model um, cave diver this is available in five colors including abalone mother pearl seiko nh38 great prices um, this one we did a, a genuine leather um, watch roll with it for the box instead of just giving you a cardboard box that you end up not using and throwing away or sit in your garage um, try to give you something you can use so uh, check us out aquasywatch.com thanks for watching